Visage, developed by Sad Square Studio, is a first-person psychological horror game, and quite possibly the scariest game I've played in decades. Most of the game takes place in a house that, at first glance, seems like an ordinary home. As you wander from room to room, you'll find dirty dishes in the sink, unmade beds, and half-folded laundry. But there's no one home, as if the family's evening has come to an abrupt stop. It doesn't take long for the player to realize that the house is anything but ordinary, as lights begin to flicker, and things go bump in the night. You play the game as the house's current owner, a man called Quinn, but as you explore the place, you find out that the house is haunted by malicious spirits of its previous occupants. Hello, Twain. It's Rose, your neighbor. I, I know it's late, and I know that I tend to be a little anxious about small things. I apologize for that, but I'm getting a bit worried. I haven't seen you out of the house in about three weeks. Is everything all right? Could you call me just to let me know everything's fine? All right. Bye-bye. Each spirit has its own chapter, and you are free to play them in whatever order you choose. But once you pick up a key item, and start a specific chapter, you'll be locked into that chapter until it's been completed. The gameplay and visage consists mostly of careful exploration and puzzle solving, and some of the puzzles can be quite challenging, especially if you're running low on lighters and candles, which are sometimes your only source of light. And light is one of the most important things in the game. You have a sanity meter that deteriorates if Twain wanders around in the dark, or hears and witnesses frightening events. These paranormal events will only get worse if Quinn loses himself to fear, and things can escalate very fast. You can manage Quinn's fear by standing close to light source, or by swallowing some sedatives, which much like lighters and candles, are a rare commodity and, to be honest, don't do much. You will often spend long periods of time searching for clues and key items, and almost everything from picture frames to coffee mugs can be picked up for closer inspection. There are also some secret collectibles like Madroshka dolls hidden around the house. The house itself is lovingly created and looks like a real, lived-in place with detailed and highly realistic graphics. I encountered a couple of minor technical issues where an object disappeared from view, while its shadow lingered on the floor, but that's about as bad as it got with bugs. Most of Visage takes place in the same house, but starting one of the chapters will often change the environment. The game uses a lot of environmental storytelling, so it's a good idea to spend some time exploring the house and familiarizing yourself with its layouts before you jump into any of the chapters. The more familiar you are with the house, the easier it is to notice when something around you has changed.
A key element in creating the frightening atmosphere and visage is its chilling sound design. The bumps and creaks and creepy footsteps you hear throughout the game make it seem like the house around you is a living and breathing entity. The music in the game is often so subtle that you don't even notice it, not until the game wants you to notice. The sound design in some of the chapters is almost unbearable, but the game also knows that silence, when used well, can be just as effective. What makes Visage so frightening is a combination of slow, creeping horror, unpredictable scares, and its atmospheric location. The game is heavily inspired by the cancelled Silent Hills PT demo, but instead of being just a cheap copy of the horrors that players experienced in the demo, Visage manages to become its own unique horror experience, with a twisted, psychological horror story about things like mental illness and addiction. You might eventually notice that some of the scares follow a certain pattern, but the game never allows you to feel like you're in control. The one aspect where the game fails to hit the mark is the clunky inventory design and item management. Twain is able to carry several key items in his inventory. He's also got a dynamic 5 slot inventory for things like lighters and sanity pills, but storing and using items is often very slow and clumsy. Some of the puzzles can also be frustrating because the game seems to play tricks on you by guiding the player's attention to specific things in the environment. You can spend a long time poking around in a room, only for the solution to be something completely illogical that you discover by accident. If you get stuck, there are hidden VHS tapes around the house with footage that will show you where you're meant to go, provided that you can decipher them. I have played many horror games over the years, and it's not easy to scare me. Visage tested my limits, over and over again. It unsettled me with its disturbing visuals and chilling sound design, and some of the scares startled me so bad that I dropped my headphones. Visage isn't an easy game, and will require a lot of patience, but it is one of the most memorable horror experiences I've had in many years. Thank you for watching my review. If you enjoyed it, please, leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel.